Here it is, this is the one. So we'll just do a quick, quick TDS check again. So TDS again is the total dissolved solids, measures the mineral content. So a hard water would be very high in minerals. Uh, about 500 apparently is a kind of danger level where it, it, uh, it becomes a more therapeutic water. If you're gonna be using your water daily, the lower the TDS, the better. So for example, um, distilled water would be zero and anything above zero uh, is good. So that's, that's reading at about 225 now, which is unusually high actually, when, uh, you know, when we come here, when it hasn't been raining as much and there's not as much melting snow, then it usually reads about 165, which is great. And the reason, the reason we like to come up further here is because that pub that we were up next to earlier, this, this stream actually runs past the pub and the pub garden before it comes to the outlet where most people bottle up their water. And of course people chuck things into the stream from the pub. So we want to just bypass all that rubbish. Okay, so that's actually measuring at 7.14, which is great. It's al almost perfectly neutral, which is, which is great exactly where we, where we want it. So before filling up these, these big bottles, I'd like to just have a little bit of a, a drink straight from the source while this, while this water is in really good condition and we haven't transported it anywhere or put it into any kind of containers, any plastic containers at least. Just, I'm gonna I'll come in. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But <laughs> <laughs> that is that's amazing. I mean, it is. It's, it just it's looks so divine. pure. And if you're new to collecting spring water, you know the idea here is to is to really get the kind of um, the information and the the natural kind of uh, information that's held within the water to to cleanse your body and I've definitely noticed a difference uh, you've noticed a difference as well haven't you? A huge difference mineralization wise I mean if I had to choose between any superfoods I definitely choose spring water first if I didn't have the money to buy yeah. superfoods mm. I'd find a spring source somewhere and do that to exactly. make sure I was getting my minerals exactly and not only I mean it's free you know. Yeah, it's totally free and it's so powerful. And you might be close to a spring. I mean, if you go to findaspring.com, uh, in the US there's, there's more than in the UK. We're in the UK at the moment. Um, but if you know of a spring, then go on to findaspring.com and, um, and submit it and they'll, they'll put it up so everyone can, have, can uh, benefit from it. Uh, if, you, if, there, if there isn't a spring on findaspring.com near you, then just ask around. You know, if you ask, especially uh, I've never done it, but I've heard of people having success of asking older people in their community if they know of any springs, and you'll be surprised. You know, they're definitely out there. Just because they're not on a website doesn't mean that you haven't got one near you. So do a little bit of research and you'll be rewarded. Mm. And you can just taste the difference. <clears throat> if you notice the... Uh, Oh no. That's <laughs> <laughs> the detail. <laughs> it's so so important to have correct clothing. Wellies are like I have to say <laughs> a savior. Yeah. We were coming here without wellies and now uh, getting very wet. <laughs> Good Let me show you. <laughs> 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 yeah, Not getting away I with this. These in the kids sections of Marks and Spencers. <laughs> And, and what was the um, what was the choice? Those or those or Hello Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> pink. I'm pink, a pink girl. <laughs> pink Hello Kitty. I can't imagine why you didn't go for those. No. <laughs> so I had to do these, and I was actually putting these on, and people were walking past, just looking at me like, "What is she doing?" <laughs> oh, you were trying them on. I was on. in the kids section trying them on. Yeah, because I've got <laughs> tiny feet. <so laughs> nice. <laughs> so all we've done here basically is. Um, just carved out a small kind of basin to, to put the bottle in and then just fill up these large these these are these are actually plastic ideally these would be glass but 
and we can't get hold of any glass ones this size at the moment. So what I just started doing on my last trip is I will take this home and decant this into one gallon amber glass bottles with corks. And I keep those in my garage, which was fine. <laughs> uh, <Except>. until, <laughs> until the last one froze uh, the day before yesterday and water expands when it freezes, if you didn't know. <laughs> and uh, it smashed the bottle. Damn. And I ran out of spring water. That's awful. It really was. No one really understands how <laughs> tragic that is. That's the thing, when I first started collecting spring water, I just kind of did it because it was a bit of fun and um, just wanted to see what it was all about really. But then, once I started living off this water, and then having run out of it, it just it just changes everything. You know, it really, it really makes you think about what you're putting into your body. You know, the, this water that's coming up from the earth is going to become my blood, and you know nothing else will really do now. <laughs>